Good afternoon, fellow film enthusiasts. This is a different type of content for my channel. Um, I don't expect this video to get too many views. It's just a matter of testing out, trying a new uh, form of content creation. Because gaming videos are out of date, let's be honest. I'm gonna react to this short film. I've never seen before, I promise. And um, from here, I'm going to analyze what I think is good and what I think could be improved on it. I'm gonna give this a ring at the end. Do on a list compared to other films for the future, short films. Let's dive into it. Is there audio? Okay, there is. Both headphones on. Okay. I prefer it without. I prefer one headphone, I don't know. Hopefully, that doesn't ruin the experience. I like the choice of text, it's, um, it seems quite country related and assuming by the uh, the shots we're getting, then it's. Uh, that's where this is going to be set. Also, I like in this shot, the, um, the horizon is perfectly vertical with the, uh, the shot. That's very nice. I like that. Nice colors as well. I'm surprised you got shots of DMs, so I just didn't piss off the moment they saw humans. One snap of a twig, they'd be flying. Some nice wildlife shots, but... It'd be nice if we had these wildlife shots with a bit of opening narration or some credits. It's an oddly large looking hill. It's quite daunting, if anything. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'll try not to speak too much over it. It's very symmetrical, for the most part. Why is the hold on? Why is the light bulb? See the light bulb one underneath the uh, the porch. God, it's not vertical with the door. That that would wind me up. The holding shots for a pretty good time. Short sure, film creators love a good gun. It's very much a real gun as well. Come on, man, let's go. I'm heading out. I like the accent, but I feel like they could have kept the music going a little so it didn't. The accent didn't seem too sharp. I'm not insulting like the accent, but rather, I think it would have benefited from having the music play just a little bit longer. I like that shot. That's that's clearly a deer uh, antler. It's some sort of antler, a bone. So I can assume that this guy is a hunter. <clears throat> nice focus. That's nice. Okay, so this guy's clearly the main character, and I'm assuming his goal is to hunt. Yeah, you keep that. Good job this ain't Skyrim, otherwise that would slow you down. I've never played Skyrim, maybe I'm wrong with that. <laughs> okay. I like the colours. This is definitely colour, um... Damn. I love those lever action shotguns, isn't Damn. it? Damn, that's what I said. That's what I'm saying! It's another reference. Is he about to roll another big one? He better roll up. Hell nah, bro. You just had one. Damn, I'm smoking a dicks. I like that gun, though. Mm. This shot seems to be going on a while. I don't know.
Let's see, got it. You feel like that mofo. <clears throat> Taking him a while to light this cigarette. I don't know. Maybe it's a creative choice, but this is. Hmm. Also, it's a bit of a cliche that all badasses in films they have to smoke. It's you know necessity. Otherwise, they're worth nothing. But I like the casting. His voice is very um, very American. I like the casting a lot. Oh shit. Okay, ear ringing. That's um, it's used a lot, but it's you know, reliable. Muffled audio. That makes a lot of sense. That's convincing. Damn. That's right through the heart. It's like there. The acting is pretty authentic, I will say, for a short film. I like the acting, definitely. Red. And the costume design is very nice as well. It's worth keeping in mind that I'm criticising this despite having done nothing... Well, nothing quality-wise as oh. good as this, but I have some idea of how films should be laid out, so I'm learning just as you are, hopefully, that's the idea. The people who made this are probably better at, well, chances are they are better at filmmaking than me. I'm just providing my honest opinion. <coughs> Music doesn't seem to change. I don't know, I would have liked a bit of a variety of music, but I liked how, I don't know, oh that definitely wasn't intentional, but the leaf covered his eyes. Oh my god, Harlan! Partway there. I don't know, kind of reminded me how they put um, coins on people's eyes when they die. Maybe I should stop making meme references. I ain't that funny. Like I said, this is kind of just a test video of anything. So I don't really care about the hate comments. Oh. Oh, it's a real damn. Oh, it's a real story. That's it's quite interesting. That I did not expect. That's really interesting. But it's actually really good to see a short film based on a um a real story, real events. Okay, so now that we've watched that short film, I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of different elements of that short. I'm gonna do this for every show that I review. So, we're gonna analyze location, story, camera work, and audio. So, starting with location, because that's the easiest, it's the, probably the least to talk about. Um, I think it was a great choice of location, honestly. It was really, really, um, say detailed and open. There's a lot of space, there's a lot of potential you could do with it, you know, creative shots. And it changed throughout, you know, they didn't just stay in one location throughout. He started at, you know, his porch, then he went out hunting by a log. It kept moving, which kept the action moving. I thought there was a good sense of uh, geography. Uh, we understood how far out, more or less, he was from home, which um, 
kind of added to the tension. There were no real cons for the location, the location was great. Alright now let's move on to story, let's start from the top, so pros. The main character and his goal was established without even really telling the audience. I think this is an example of show don't tell. So he kind of got the idea he was a hunter by the title. Uh, seasons end, the season's reaching an end and there's only so long to, um, you know, hunt. But I'll get on to uh, stakes in a little bit. So um, his goal was established very quickly and very um, inconspicuously. In the beginning, they don't really tell the audience what he's going to do. We get hints, he's loading a gun. He's walking past a deer antler that's clearly dead. He says he's going to go out and his character and the things he's wearing perfectly match uh, the kind of thing he does. So next thing is, I thought for a short film that acting was pretty good um, the moment he got shot. I thought it was pretty authentic to the, um, the kind of thing that would happen. Another pro is that it's based on a true story. I thought that was really, really neat. I've ne I think that's the first case I've seen where a short film has been based on a true story. Maybe there was another, but I can't remember it, but this is a really good example of that. As I go into story cons, it's worth keeping in mind that this obviously was based on a true story, so they might have kept it as close to um, reality as possible, just in respect of the person who died in real life. Alright, so story cons. There was no foreshadowing to the gun going off, um, it kind of just came as a surprise. That's not necessarily a terrible thing, but the best jump scares, I'm assuming it was supposed to be a sort of jump scare. The best jump scares come when there's a building of tension. There was no real build of tension there. I think this could have been fixed if at the beginning he had a conversation with his brother. So I'll be Harley. All right, so I'm just going out with my gun. This would be terrible dialogue, but it should give you an idea. I'm gonna uh, try and get a cook for today. I'll see you when I get back. And then Richard. All right, don't worry about it, big brother. I'll see you when you get back. Remember to keep the safety on. And then Holly can be like, ain't I supposed to be the one who tells you that? That's really basic dialogue. There's no script I'm reading from. <laughs> It'd be pretty appalling if it was. It wouldn't have just given us foreshadowing to the, um, the events which we see happen, but it would have made us really connect with his character a lot more. And I actually did a bit of research. The uh, Winchester, he used a Winchester in this uh, short film. It's a, I believe, 1982 model. Looking it up, I found the exact same one. This is a picture of it. It actually does have a safety mode, so he could have, you know, just when he was loading the uh, gun, there could have been just a little, he could have held that shot for another two seconds and just shown him flicking the safety off. That's just a tiny little detail that I think would have added a lot to the, uh, to the overall film. This one. I found out there was little emotional uh, connection to the character um, through the likes of, you know, character building and there were no real stakes, I thought. I think the most, the biggest sign of stakes I thought was actually in the title of the short, uh, Seasons End. Like I said, you know, Seasons Coming to an End, only so long to hunt. But I feel like there could have been that opening dialogue in the beginning which, have, which would have reaffirmed how good of an actor this guy is. I think he has a lot of potential, this actor. But I think it would have benefited from an opening bit of dialogue to show that what he's doing is very important and, you know, if he fails, then the results could be catastrophic. Right, now moving on to camera and the pros. Neat cinematography with colour grading that works well with the environment. I thought the environment was perfect for this film and the way they used the camera in that location, I thought that was quite brilliant. I think the colour grading's more or less perfect. Um, plenty of oranges, strength and blacks, and um, greens and browns I thought was emphasised. There was a clear colour palette throughout and that was followed through with his, his choice of clothing. Right, next one. The symmetry. I thought the symmetry was used really well in this uh, short film. This is obviously a pro. It's something that cinematographers seem to be getting much better at nowadays. In fact, it's always been quite a common thing to get symmetry right. But um, I think they did it really well in this film. So I thought angles with the camera were used really well. It didn't use many angles, which I'll get onto in a bit. But the ones it did use, it used really well at showing what was happening, I believe. Camera cons. A uh, wildlife shot cliche which I thought was filler for the film. Um, obviously this isn't a very long film. I thought there could have been more content and elements inside this film, but of course, you know, it's a, based on a real story, so it can't, you know, can only do so much. But I feel like in order to fill out that time and get it to eight minutes, I spent a lot of time on shots of nature. Stuff that didn't really benefit the story 
or the character. Definitely improved the look of the environment, but as I mentioned in the opening shot earlier, uh, just shots of the um, landscape, it would have really benefited from there being opening narration or um, continued credits to give that shot a purpose, because otherwise it's just, you know, there. It looked nice, don't get me wrong, but it's better if you can have that and then serve as another purpose. Um, it keeps the action moving, keeps the audience interested, that sort of thing. Uh, another one, some shots were held for a little too long, in my opinion. I think a good example is just before he shot, and um, there wasn't really any rising tension to that at all. The audio was practically non-existent while he's rolling his cigarettes and about to get shot. I guess maybe they were supposed to be building up tension by holding that shot, but if anything, it kind of just made me wait for something to happen. All right, final uh, camera con. Limited range of angles and ranges. Although the ones that were used were put into great effect, some shots would have been better done differently. Maybe when he was on the floor, you know, in pain, shot from the air, uh, after being shot. It would have been useful to get a better close-up. You couldn't see his face for all of the time, which kind of took away from his acting and um, the emotions that he felt. Of course, it is clear he was in pain through body language and the sounds he was making, and the fact there was blood, of course. But I think seeing the stress on his face would have um, would have been a good benefit. Um, maybe a close-up in that case. I don't think there were many close-ups in that film. Plenty of establishing shots, plenty of medium shots. I think maybe it would have benefited from having the camera looking down at him after he was shot, shot making him look weaker. So, moving on to the final element of this film, audio pros and audio cons. Pros, realistic sound effects during gunshot and walking. So, I thought the walking sound effects on the leaves, it sounded very realistic. Obviously, it might have been audio on location, which would have been easier, but they did that afterwards um, in Foley. Then that's pretty authentic. Obviously, the gun sound effect, when it was falling on the log, you could actually hear it scraping. I don't think that audio was captured from when it actually happened. Maybe they recorded it after. And obviously the gunshot. There was a nice bit of echo to it, but not too much, but I feel like maybe it could have had a bit more girth. Maybe that's just me, but the gunshot sounded very authentic. And when he was reloading the gun, the ching ching that sounded good as well. Uh, music uh, fit well with the environment and story. So uh, the music was quite droned out, atmospheric almost lonely, it had a sense of solitude to it. Essentially, I think the music fit the, the area well, which gets me onto the next con, actually, which I think is the lack of music. There was only really one type of music throughout, and this is a problem I see with a lot of um, films. I don't, maybe, maybe it's not a problem, maybe it's just me and how I prefer things. And then final audio con, this one's a big one for me. Empty audio space lacking surrounding audio to emphasize the deepness of the environment. The most powerful films and the most powerful environments in films really benefit from having surrounding audio. Audio you can hear from all angles. Something I'm learning in university at the moment, picture the environment you're in now or any environment, like maybe you're in a city or a countryside. What can you hear? Like take a second to listen around you, what can you hear? Maybe if you're in a city, car honking, people talking, footsteps, uh, drills, works, planes flying over, uh, advertisements, your own footsteps, breathing. There's a vast variety of sounds you could have added. And in this case, it's you know no different just because it's a countryside. I feel like you could have added some bird sound effects, maybe some bees. Definitely some wind going through trees. That would have really added um, to the depth. Just little wildlife sounds would have added a lot to this film. That was one of the biggest cons for me. Audio in general was good. The audio there was high quality and really matched the environment, but I would have liked it to be to have been deeper. Right, so the final scores for each element of this short film. I gave Story a six out of 10. I thought it could have been refined in areas, but of course it was limited by the fact it was a um, based on a real story, which I thought definitely added a lot to it. Cinematography, I believe got a 7 out of 10, I thought it was pretty strong, the cinematography was pretty strong. Audio, 6, uh, I thought it could have been a bit deeper, but the audio that there was definitely fit the film. And location, got a 9, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the location, it's on point, but I feel like other elements could have used the location to their advantage, which is why I didn't get a 10. So, adding all those up and dividing by 4 gives us a total score of 7 which is pretty good, it puts this film in first place. 
out of one <laughs> so far. I think seven's a pretty fair score. Of course, if you disagree with me, if you think it could be better or worse, uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about the film. Also, while you're at it, definitely recommend recommend uh, short films for me to watch and uh, analyze. But for now, I'll leave you to the rest of your day. So long.